my therapist. Wait, what? Traveled out of the country just like that? It's fine. It's all right. Okay. I'll just try to get to her on the phone. Thank you so much. I mean, I've been waiting here in the lobby for hours. All right, ma'am. It's okay. You have a great day. <sighs> Can you imagine that? So sorry about that. Someone had an appointment to meet. Traveled out of the country without no, any prior notification. It keeps happening. <sighs> it keeps happening. My sister, once more, thank you so You're much for welcome. picking up my phone. I was You're so, welcome. so stressed. To God. And what are you doing in the hospital? Well, I came for an appointment too, but unfortunately, the doctor is not around. So. All right. I hope everything is fine, yeah. though. Yeah, I just came for a minor checkup. Oh, <laughs> that's really sweet. I hope sometimes within the week we can get to hang out, know each other better. Yeah. Friends now? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> all right. Perfect. <laughs> I'll give you a call, all right? Okay, I'll just wait for you. Take care. Right. You too. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you, oh Lord, for life. I thank you for the food, the air that we breathe, oh Lord. I thank you for financial breakthrough, oh Lord. Because I know by my words it shall come to pass. Lord, I pray, oh God, please heal my parents. Lord, I give you the glory because everything is in your hands. I cannot do this without you, oh Lord. Financial breakthrough, oh God. I don't know what to do apart from turning my, my whole being to you, Lord. Please bless me. Lord, I give you the glory. I give you the honor. Because you are God. You are the Almighty Father. Lord, I say thank you, Jesus. Because by my words, it shall come to pass. God, I say thank you. Because I know it has already come to pass. It shall come to pass, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I say thank you. God, you are great. You are the awesome God. You are the Alpha and the Omega. God, the day without you, there is no me. Lord, I say thank you. Oh God, please. Please, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
surprised. I'm doing great. I was like, who is this? <laughs> what is this? That's really cute. How is everything with you? Well, all glory to God. We can't complain. We just have to thank God for life. Even though there's one or two challenges, financial challenges, it's, it's not been easy. Ah, I'm so sorry about that. Um, do you mind if I pass by your place by this weekend so that we can discuss that a little more detail and we understand what is going on? I, well, that's fine, I think so, because um, I was supposed to have a class on Saturday, but unfortunately it got cancelled, so that's, that's, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be great. Yeah, alright, alright. Can you please help me with your address? Okay. Text me your address. Okay, okay, I will text you right away. Okay. Alright, yeah. okay. Okay. See you we can do that. Okay, you take care of yourself, okay? Alright. Yeah. Bye bye. God bless you. Amen. <laughs> and you too. Yes. Unfortunately, she moved house, so it's not easy meeting up with the bills and everything. So sometimes it's really hard. 
given the fact too that my mom has been sick for a very long time. What? It's it's not been easy. Yeah. But I give God the glory. And you still managed to put up with all the <laughs> smiling face, the kind heart. God. It's been God all this while. Yeah. yeah. I just hold on to God. I read my Bible every day, you know. You need to feed your spirit with the word of God. So mm -hmm. yeah. It's and obviously. I see you really believe in this your God so yeah, much. Definitely. He's he's been there through thick and thin. He's always been there for me. Whenever I feel lonely, whenever I feel down and depressed, I just direct my energy to the Bible, read the Bible, read his words and, and try to keep my soul at peace because it's it's really not been easy. You should enjoy your food. <laughs> you with my story it's okay yeah. I mean like I really admire you a lot to know that you're going through all of that and you still manage to put yourself together and I mean that's beautiful it's that's why I keep telling people every day it's good to be born again because with God everything is possible mm -hmm. when you pray he answers your prayers mm -hmm. I mean yeah and I think your God just answered your prayer <laughs> one more time like what do you think about moving in with me since, I mean, being here is way costly and it's a great challenge for you. I don't mind you moving in with me. I have a, a big condo, you know. Wow. That's, that's very... <laughs> I mean, if you don't mind. <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm surprised, but I have to communicate with my parents about that. You know, they know I still live here, so... I just have to tell them and try to see what they think about it and I'll definitely get back to you. But thank you so much for the opportunity. Julia, yeah. you deserve the very best. You have a good heart. Thank you. I can't stop thanking you so much for helping me with my phone that day, you know. So many people pick it up and run away with it. <laughs> so it oh. just tells me how amazing you are as a All person. thanks to God. Mm. Yeah. Everything happens for a reason. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Did you make this? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So high school. Mm. School is fine. Mm -hmm. Right now we're getting ready for the Christmas vacation. So. All right. Just seeing how. Yeah. Going. Yeah. The streets are really busy. When I was driving down mm. here, the traffic was yeah. something else. Yeah, it is. <coughs> it's not easy out there. Everyone is trying to make the most out of life, so... <laughs> yeah. What do you study in school? Uh, well, computer science. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's such a tough girl. <laughs> hmm. It's just determination. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So what about you? Uh, How's life been? <laughs> I moved into this part of the city like two years now and basically because I was sent here to run some errands for my father so I've been handling some business deals and I mean I would not really be here for that long anymore because most of the deals have been closed and I have to travel back to my father okay. and besides I miss my brother so much. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow, it feels good to have family around, you mm. know, yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope you're enjoying your food. Hmm. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just wish you can get married into our family so that someday I'll just be eating this sumptuous, you know. I mean, it tells me you can make more delicious meals than this. You know, as a woman, we all dream for that day to come when we get to settle in our husband's home and mm. start our own family, so yeah. <coughs> Let's see how it goes. <laughs> oh, wow. What? I'm so sorry. There was a business partner I was to meet at 3.30 p.m. and it's already 3.18, so. Oh. Oh, and I'd really love to stay, but 
I'm really late already, Judy. I thank you wow. so much. I enjoyed myself. Thank you so much. Thank you. Too. So you just think about it, right? Yeah. And then you let me know mm -hmm. if it's okay with you to move in with me. Give me a call mm -hmm. and yeah. I'll be really available to so definitely welcome you. I'll definitely give you a call. Thank you so much. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Thank I should you be made my day. Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> let me walk you out. <laughs> Well, I'll definitely get back to you on. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> wow. God, you are great. <laughs> Jesus. Hi, Daddy. Hi. You really walk in mysterious ways. All those things she brought for me, and she wants me to move into her place. Just like that. We just met a few days ago. God, you are a miraculous God. You are the Alpha and the Omega. <laughs> I give you the glory, Daddy. Hi. Hi. Wow. This is amazing. God. Oh. <laughs>
Oh wow, I have a lot of business deals today. I can't wait to meet those business partners. Oh, my goodness, I've missed my dad so much. Oh, let me see. Is that someone on the bell? Yes? Is there someone outside here? meditation moments I don't know and then let me show you to your room so yeah what do you think about this wow, room this is perfect Right. Yeah, Julia. This is so beautiful. Yeah. So wow. You can just have this room in the oh meantime. I hope you this like is, it here. This is just too much. Oh, wow. You're is, welcome, Julia. Thank you so much, Debbie. Oh, oh. you're just you're such a godsend. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right, Julia, so early in the morning, if you need to use the bathroom, so okay. here you go. You can take a shower okay. and then the mirrors and everything for okay. you. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Julia, so since you're a student, you can always use this place for your quiet moments. You want to study. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. I love it. <laughs> I know. Wow. <laughs> All right. So let me show you downstairs as well. Okay. The kitchen, you know, and some workspaces wow. if you would like. So downstairs we have the kitchen, we have some workspaces as well, and then yeah, you have the dining. I mean, anytime you need anything, please don't hesitate to let me know. All right? Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, Julia, yeah. Um, I know you must be very hungry. <laughs> this is my kitchen. Wow, this is nice. Oh, forget about that. Come and see the kitchen. <laughs> So, here you go. This is the powerhouse where everything happens. In case you're hungry, you want to eat any intercontinental or continental dishes. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, so here you have your microwave, um, the freezer, the fridge, anything you want to, you know, get for yourself. The oven in case you want to bake cakes or something. Yeah, all right, so that is it. Come on, let's go and just. <laughs> <laughs> Julia, here you go. Have a glass of water. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. I was even preparing to go out. I had some business partners that I had to meet up with. Oh, your dad? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely, I told you. So tell me, how was your journey? It was, it was okay. I'm not right. really far from here. I so. know. I'm so happy to have this you is here. Very nice. I know, I it's not yours. <laughs> it's not yours as well, honey. Thank you. My parents Aww. send their regards. Oh, like, they do. They're very happy. Aww. They're so grateful. Aww. Thank you. <laughs> you are very much welcome. Please feel at home. You know, if you need anything, do not hesitate to ask me. And of course, we're going to have a lot of good times out there. Yes. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'm just going to cancel this meeting right away so that I can have some time with you. All right. I hope you don't mind. We go to a fancy restaurant and get something really good for the evening. I I think I should make something. I guess you have some food stuff at home. Oh, I can cook something. You don't have to bother. <laughs> You've already done a lot for me, so I think that's like <sighs> Julia. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to have another friend. <laughs> oh. Mm. Okay, perfect. So please just relax, enjoy yourself, you know. Yeah. And I already showed you where the bathroom is. You can take a shower and then rest for the night. Alright. <laughs> okay. Perfect. You're welcome, Julia. Thank you so much. I'll just watch. <laughs> Alright.
Jimmy, I was looking for you. You already came to the kitchen. Come on. <laughs> like, what have you been doing here? Trying to make something for us. Please. <laughs> oh, let me help you out. No, Debbie, don't worry. You've already done a lot for me. What it's just done? It's just a way of saying thank you. Don't stress yourself. Just sit down and I'll serve you. <laughs> yeah. You don't really have to bother <laughs> no, me. No, I have to because oh, this is this is uh, <laughs> help. So what's in this kitchen? Jeremy and Eric. Oh wow. Hmm. Sounds delicious. I hope you like it. <laughs> I hope so too. Alright, let me fix up the dining. Okay. Jesus. Mm. Lord, I say thank you for this food, oh Lord. I thank you for blessing us today, oh Lord. I thank you for journey mercies. I thank you for love, air, water, and everything you've given us. God, I say thank you. I bless your name. Mm. You are a great God. You're amazing God. I thank you, oh Lord, for sending Debbie into my life because she has been a blessing. Lord, I glorify your name and give you all the praises and honor. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. In Jesus' name. Mm. I was starving. <laughs> oh wow, this looks so good. How do you call this again? Arrow. Gary and Arrow. Hmm. Hmm. Your husband is gonna be so lucky. Hmm. <laughs>
<sighs> Wait, what? The stock market today is so, so juicy. Oh my gosh. Hey, Debbie. Oh, Julia. <laughs> I'm doing good. Just looking at the stock market like it's wow. amazing tonight. Wow. Like, I just want to buy enough of it. Wow. I guess you're very busy. But <laughs> I need to catch some sleep. Let's though. make time for God. God. Yes. All right. Let's pray. Do you have a Bible? I don't do Bible, girl. You need to start reading the Bible. You can have this. I'll get another it's one. It's just a book. One second. It's not just a book. <laughs> I don't do Bible. I don't do Bible. <laughs> okay, so let's feed the spirit yes. with the word of God. Spirit. Yes, you need to feed your spirit. Mm -hmm. yes. What does that even mean? When you feed the body, you feed the spirit with the word of God. So you do not perish. You keep living the way God wants us to live. I yes. hope all these charlatans and fake prophets nowadays have not brainwashed you. No, as well. no. What matters in life is for you to be at your best, to succeed, to grind, to be on top of things, to help people, to be kind, good to one another, Debbie, do to others what you want them to do to you. That's life. Those are the ways of man. That's not the way of God. That's not how God wants us to live. Come on, let's read the Bible. Open to Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Come on. Come on, Debbie. You will like this. Julia. You should feed your spirit often. Uh, where is Genesis <laughs> when, when you start reading the Bible, you understand what I mean. Come on. Is where is Genesis? Okay, open to the very first page. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Why would you draw so many lines on your Bible? Why do you underline a lot? Debbie, okay, let's let's just say this for example, you're walking, right? Mm. And you have so many things you have to keep track of. What do you do? You highlight it. Exactly. Exactly. That's why I have so many lines. <laughs> wow. <Well. laughs> so um can you read? Can you read? All right. Why do I read? From verse, chapter one, verse twenty-six. And God said, "Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth." So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Exactly. That's to teach you that we are the children of God. We are the king's kids. We were created by God in his own image and likeness. So what do you think we are? Gods. Yes, we are gods. Because we were created in his own image and likeness. So we have to respect our being. We have to respect our body, which God created for us to, to make manifest of his words. Sis, trust me, this is not just the Bible. God speak to us through this book, the Bible. If anything, if you ever think you're going astray, this is where you have to refer to the Bible because it will teach you the ways God wants us to live. But I see the Bible says, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle. Like talking about dominion, don't you think that so many people who don't carry this your Bible, call this your God, even walk in more dominion and affluence than so many people who sleep day and night in these churches and carrying this word and just putting God, God, God everywhere. Do they no. really have dominion? They do. They really? Do. Because That's... most of them look like paupers. No. <laughs> Because we are more focused on what God says. 
we are more focused on doing the works of God converting souls to him that's the most important thing as a Christian converting souls to God just imagine Debbie you you go behind the house and you see a green snake you have a friend in the house sitting and watching TV you go back in and that friend tells you oh Debbie I'm going I want to just step out and, and call someone and talk to someone something very important and you know that behind there's a green snake what would you tell the person to escape from their exactly. lives there is danger exactly if you love someone you would teach the person you will help that person not to get beaten by the snake but if you do not like that person you will let the person get beaten by the snake so I love you that's why I'm trying to teach you the words of God so that you do not get beaten by the snake at the end we will all celebrate as God's children trust me in <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> so. you need to read more of the Bible because it will teach you Yes. All right. Yes. In Jesus name, give me your hands. Mm. In Jesus name. Oh God, I thank you because I know my sister Debbie is going to be converted and you shall celebrate oh God in heaven because we have won a soul. Amen. Jesus, I thank you Lord for this day. Amen. God, I know you're manifesting your words in us oh Lord. Never depart from us. We are your children. We are your kids oh King of heaven. We are God because we were created in your likeness and your image. So that makes us God. Thank you Lord Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus we pray mm -hmm. thank Hallelujah. you Jesus amen thank All right. you sweetheart enjoy your night <laughs> Take I, care love of you. Okay, I love you yeah. too All right. this is okay. for you oh really yes you need to be you need to start reading the Bible yes <laughs> this is for you this All is right. a gift from me to you, oh, thank you <laughs> trust sweetheart. me God, we will all celebrate at the end. <laughs> <laughs> all right, have a oh good night. God. All right, girl. Oh, such an amazing girl. God, King, we, his children, his kids. All right. <laughs> oh. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, how was your day? Oh, really? <laughs> the one and only king of Putu Putu Kingdom. <laughs> All right. I love you so much, Daddy. I just wanted to tell you that before going to bed. <laughs> All right, Daddy. Good night. Mm -hmm. I'll meet with the investors tomorrow and hear what they have to say, and I'll give you feedback. All right. All right. <laughs> good night, Your Majesty. <laughs> I love you, and I miss you so so much. Can't wait to be back home. <laughs> All right. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> see these business partners today oh my goodness uh -uh. but why did mr. Josh say that over the phone uh. oh wow oh mr. George 
Mr. Josh, I forgot to call him back about that business deal. Oh, my Hello. therapist. Hello. Uh uh. <sighs> I was so worried sick. I came to the hospital for the appointment that we had. And then your secretary started telling me how you had flown out of the country. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I had an emergency and I had to fly to Paris very urgently. But you know. I'm so sorry. I hope you really understand because it was a matter of life and death. So please, I'm sorry about that. Immediately I come back to the country, I will definitely give you a call. Okay. Um, <sighs> apologies. It's fine, but you know, it's been so hard for me all these days. You can't imagine I met another young girl who looks exactly like that, my best friend, that we were involved in the car crash together. I've been, I, I've been so... Just, just calm down. I understand. I'll, I'll take the next flight as soon as I can. Yes. Yes, you have to. You can't even imagine last night I had a very terrible nightmare seeing the car crash repeat itself again. Because this new girl reminds me of everything I went through with my best friend. This is, this is very serious. Yes. I'm definitely going to reach out to you when I get back to the country. Alright. We need to talk about this. Oh, yes. Alright, that's right. So when can I be expecting you? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll get you when um, I have a date because I have a meeting to attend after this call and after that I'll know when exactly I'll be back in the country but I just want you right now to be calm mm. and um, think good things before you take any action. Just calm and I'll be with you so Alright, alright. I really appreciate all you're doing for me as my therapist and I do not take it for granted, okay? You're welcome. You're welcome, baby. So right now, I just want you to get enough rest. Yes. Make sure you do not miss your sport activities. Go out and uh, uh, meet with people and meet with family. Do things that make you happy. Watch TV, watch interesting programs. Go out in the community, interact with people. That will help calm the post-traumatic disorder. And when I get back to the country, I'll definitely reach out to you and we get to meet and talk about this, okay? Alright, okay. alright. All right. I really appreciate all, this. All, all we want right now is just for you to feel better and, and get over all the negative things that have happened. So we're just very focused on your mental health right now and seeing that you live a good life after this, okay? Alright, alright. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this and I can't wait to have you back in the country. You're welcome, Debbie. You All take right. care of yourself. All right, you too. Have a great day. Yeah. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh. All right, I needed to call Mr. Josh to find out why did he reschedule this particular meeting. All right, in that case, I'll have to look for Mr. Brian and just see the city council regarding this new project. George, pick up, George, pick up. Hey, Mr. George. I was headed for the meeting already, but I see that you rescheduled with your staff. All right, I'll just go to the city's council to finalize the other project we started there, all right? <sighs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay, see you Tuesday, 4 p.m. All right. Are you okay? Oh, Julia! Are you, are you fine? <laughs> Great, honey. I'm just trying to run out for a business meeting. Oh, wow. Can I pray for you before you go out? Pray for yeah. me? <laughs> Alright, sure. Why not? Hmm. Is this what you always do? Yeah. You know, you need to have a relationship with God. God? Yeah. <laughs> when you come back, we'll talk about it. Okay? Is God real? God is our Father, our Creator. Okay? When, we, when you definitely come back, we'll talk more about this and you're serious with me. Alright. In Jesus' name, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus, mm -hmm. Lord, I thank you, O oh Lord, for you are God. You are the almighty creator, O oh Lord. I thank you for giving us life and love 
to live her life in a happy way. Lord, I pray for my sister and friend Debbie as she steps out for any meeting, oh Lord. I pray you put your hands over her. Protect her, oh God. Bring her back safe because you are God. You are the driver, oh Lord. I say thank you, Jesus, because you have done it. Mm -hmm. Lord, you are um, uh, our Father, our Lord, oh Lord. I say thank you, Jesus. I thank you because you are the great and the... It's okay, it's okay. Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, it's okay, Julia. Okay. Mm, thank you for the prayers, okay. all right? Mm. You're welcome. <laughs> all right. So I've kept some money for you in the kitchen in case you need to get yourself any groceries or anything or just for your personal use, all right? Okay. Okay. I'll see you when I okay. get back. Okay. Right. Love thank you. you. <laughs>
feeding my father. Just lunch. You should have something to eat. Then oh, you can worry about the rest. You, yeah, you don't really have to. I have to. <sighs> Someone needs to take good care of you. I was thinking of coming to the kitchen and do something right it's after nice. this. All right. The dining is already set. All right. <laughs> Problem. Thank you so much. You're I'm welcome. just going to okay. look at these after we are done eating, but I have to really go through this yeah. one because I feel like some people are doing some fishy things. You just you need know? to eat. <laughs> Food is very necessary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at this delicacy. Look at this. I can't wait. <laughs> Can we pray? all the time yes i can not only feed the body but i can feed my spirit but julia i mean like what do you mean by that can feeding your you? spirit is doing good works helping people you know no. the orphans the widows the no. widowers and being a kind person no. to the people you Debbie, see can i ask you a question all right go ahead do you have a relationship with god god yes have you ever seen God before? God is our Father, the creator of humanity. Hmm. You need to have a relationship with God. It's not about doing the good things on earth, helping the poor, the needy, or giving out money. No, you need to have a relationship with God. You need to feed your spirit. And what I mean by that is by reading the Bible, living the way God wants us to live as his children. Debbie, if you do not do all this, you will perish in hell. All your good deeds will go for nothing. That's why I keep begging you and wanting you to give your life to Christ. Be born again, so you shall be saved on the last day. Julia. Debbie. These I things love are just you. brainwashing people. No. No. This is just a paradigm to brainwash people, can't have, you see? Have you thought about life? Certain things that happen in your life and you look at those things and you you try to think about those things and know that there's a supernatural being watching over us, which is God. You need to think about it. You need to give your life to Christ. Only the people who love you will tell you about this. There is happiness in Christ. When you are in Christ, you live a happy life. Trust me. Just trust me. I love you. That's why I'm telling you all this. You will never regret this. Because God watches over us. Sometimes you see the miraculous things that happen in our lives and you, you try to think about it and know that there's God watching over his children. See, Debbie, Jesus. God sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died for our sins. Just imagine, if someone can send his own son to die for your sins, he was nailed on the cross, carried the cross and fell three times, people rejected him. For what? Just because he wanted to save us from, from the wrath of the devil. And at the end of the day, he died for our sins, he got nailed on the cross, and his mom watched him being nailed on the cross, being crucified. And at the end of the day, we still do not believe that he is the Lord, our God, our Father. When you look at all these things, if you were God, how would you feel? Place yourself in God's shoes and know how it will feel. He keep, he's a merciful God, Debbie. He's a merciful God. An ever-forgiving Father. Are you sure this year God loves me? God loves you. God loves His children. He has given us grace. We humans live by His grace. The moment you believe, you believe, even if your faith is as small as a mustard seed, Debbie, if you just believe that God is your father, your creator, God will never stop loving you. But I mean, what else could be greater than being the daughter of a king? Is he a king? Debbie, God is the king of kings and the lord of lords. We are all the king's kids because we were born 
by his grace. Debbie, give your life to Christ. Feed your soul. Feed your spirit so you do not perish on the last day because there will be no turning back. Debbie, trust me, you need to read the Bible. Everything God wants you to know is in the Bible. He will guide you as you go. He will never forsake you. I am a living testimony and I want everybody to leave and see what I have seen. Everything happens for a reason. Julia, Julia, you've almost persuaded <laughs> me to accept this, your God. But you know what? Maybe some other time. Can we just eat now? Just, just pray, okay? Just pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I thank you for you are God. Because your daughter has seen a new path in you. And she will give her life in Christ and serve you as your, as your child. Please, Lord, we live by your grace. May you guide and protect us. Make us see your ways, the ways you want us to live, oh God. I thank you, God, for your daughter, Debbie, is now a born again. In you, Christ our Lord, we ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 <sighs> mm. Do you like it? Always. I pray God gives you a great husband. You're such an amazing cook. You keep saying that. I pray so too. Are you okay? Yeah. Is everything okay? Mm -hmm. Of course, sure. <laughs> you want to make yourself comfortable and just... Okay. Oh. Wow. So tell me. Mm -hmm. How is school so far? Well, we thank God. Everything is moving well. Trying our best. Mm. Yeah. All right. Last time you told me you were studying computer information systems. Wow. Yeah. You must be a really tough girl, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, like after your graduation, you could, I mean, work in one of my father's companies. Oh. Wow. That's something you would like. Seriously. Of course. Wow. Sure. <laughs> You're really doing too much for I me. I know. Thank You're you my so sister much. Wow. Wow. Well, that would be great. Oh, really? <laughs> That's more so. How is work going? Uh, like I told you earlier on, I don't know what Mr. Judge and his team are doing, but I definitely know for sure that some figures aren't right. So, from the audit I see here, something fishy is going on. You know, sometimes when you're overseeing so many companies and businesses, like people just think you are gullible yeah. and will not notice those minor details. But it is those minor details that actually bring us profit, and that's why I have to be so keen about it. Well, some of us do not understand these things. <laughs> just For someone studying computer <laughs> information systems, don't go away. I finish fast and come and start managing one of our companies. <laughs> Alright, perfect. Wow, this is really good. Oh, that's cool. Can you make that? Mm, well, well, I don't know. Maybe I can watch YouTube videos and learn. Oh, Alright, perfect. <sighs> Let me make a quick call. Okay. To show her mercy. Please show Debbie mercy. She's such a nice person. Do not let her perish, oh God. Let her accept you into her heart, oh God. May you give her a soft heart to accept your words into her mind and soul. Let her feed her spirit with your words. Ah, oh my goodness. Dad, Dad. Ah. Hello. <laughs> Daddy, I miss you so much. <laughs> oh, 
girl daddy i miss you so much i'm doing really well on this side of the east coast mm -hmm. of course i know the businesses Mm, you can be rest assured that your daughter is doing an amazing job overseeing them however there is this particular business on the south side that was under the leadership of mr george you remember absolutely the accountant reached out to me a few weeks ago and we're trying to see what is happening with that company because the figures were just not adding up yes daddy it feels like you know the auditing had some truth to reveal some people should have been embezzling some of our funds somehow within that company mm -hmm. because we're currently running on a deficit um, let me um, call the boy to join me yes i'm telling you daddy oh wait what charles Charles coronation in three months <gasps> oh my goodness that's amazing so Charles is going to be the king of our kingdom now that he had some really good news I'm so happy I mean my brother will finally be king what joy could a princess ever have than seeing her brother take over the throne from her father <laughs> oh my god Daddy, I'm so happy <laughs> a bride a bride ah daddy don't worry Charles is a handsome man he's a prince he can always get himself a queen I mean how many young ladies out there are looking for such an opportunity you know ah uh, daddy don't worry yes I think I'll try to call Charles after this let's talk about it so people are really blessed <laughs> I know I miss you so much daddy I do yes daddy I miss you so much I really do mm -hmm. <laughs> don't worry I'll make sure that when Charles comes around we're going to plan everything for the coronation and of course I'm going to be there in a grand style trust your daughter ah daddy I'm so I'm so happy that he wait that he wait a minute please Oh, you are about to get your medication? It's fine. All right. All right. All right. I'll call you again, okay? After calling Charles, I'll call you. All right, daddy. I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Mwah. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Oh, hey. I was just praying and I wanted you to join me. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Pray. Yeah. Oh, to your God. <laughs> to our God. <laughs> to our God. Yeah, yeah our of God. course. Of yeah. course. But... <laughs> Debbie, yeah, you're a princess. Mm, yeah, yeah. I never knew about this. Like, oh uh, wow. I mean, yeah, wow. it's normal. I mean, I'm so nothing shocked. Out of the ordinary. Oh my! Seriously? God. Wow. You're really blessed. Hmm. Of course, we all are. Come here. <laughs> yeah. We all are blessed. Yes, okay? we are. Yeah. Wow. Of course. And it's such a blessing having I, you in my life. No, it's a, you don't it's know a, how much you mean to wow. me. I have another sister in you, right? Definitely. Mm. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. so that was my father talking about my brother's coronation, which is in three months. And I just can't wait to see the young wow. man. Wow. <laughs> you have such a lovely family. Uh, wow. <laughs> anyway, I was praying and I decided to call you to join me for prayers. Oh, to that your God? Our God. Our God. Our God. He's our, our Father. <laughs> the Almighty God. Yes. You know what? Um, how about I join you over the night, you know? Oh my God. Okay, that's fine. After that's fine. I'll catch up with All you. Alright. Okay. Oh Take care. Alright. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>
princess. Wow. Hmm. This world. Some people are really fortunate. <laughs> Why others just leave off the crumbs? Oh wow, this looks interesting. I like this new company design. Oh, the business plan. Um, who is there? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, brother! Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! I'm doing awesome, thank wow, you. Wow, you look good. I love that dress. Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm sorry for not letting you know. You're welcome. You're welcome. I just Let me to surprise you. I want you to see that friend. face right there. I have a friend. Yeah, friend. Uh, Julia. All right. Come, come, girl. Come, girl. Oh my God. Hi. You're welcome, brother. Yeah. <laughs> this is such a pleasant surprise on a very good day. I'm so tired. I know. Please do well to have some. Where is Julia? Julia, honey. Who is this Julia you speak of? Oh my God. She's my new best friend. Honey. Amazing visitor. Yay! Come on! Hello! Alright, I know she's so cute. Julia! <laughs> meet William, William, meet Julia. She got a lovely smile. I know! That's enough, that's enough. Alright, you need some water to drink? Let me get you water. Let me, let me, it's okay. Oh. oh. Thank you. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, I've just been trying to ensure that all the companies on this side of the world are properly taken care of. I'm so happy that we're actually getting accurate results from the works of the auditors because I mean, we need to put out there all these regulars from the company. Thank, uh, you. <laughs> Thank you so much, You're Julia. Welcome. You're just the best. Come here, come here, honey. Come here. So tell me a little about yourself, Julia. No, there's nothing really much about me apart from the fact that I love God, He's my father, I go to school. Oh, you go to school? Yeah. What school? Century College. Century College. Yeah. One thing I noticed about you is definitely the smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're, You're flattering me. As soon as you got here, that's the first thing I wow. Thank you yeah. so much. Mm -hmm. So how'd you guys meet? Oh, it's a long story, yeah. but you see this girl? Like, where is even my phone? You can't imagine, brother. You know the phone you got me on my birthday? Yeah. This girl, oh, I, remember. I went for my appointment, boom. I was so stressed out that day, forgot my phone. And then this cute young woman picks up my phone and before we know everything is history, we became friends. Yeah. <laughs> Man, yeah. can you have your phone? I'm like, whoa. Just like that. Just like that. Wow. How things happen. Just I like love that. her so much. She's my new best friend. I can friend. tell. I feel a little connection going yeah. on. Yeah. All right. Okay, brother. Enough of that. Let's do go to the dining. Mm -hmm. Get your stomach. Yeah. And then we can continue the rest for the evening, alright? I'm ready. Whenever you guys are good. <laughs> alright, let's go. Let me show you to your room. <laughs> alright. Oh, come here, honey. <laughs> what would I do? Three months to find me a bride, and I'm gonna be crowned the next king. Still can't find anyone. I mean, how could she do this to me? She gonna dump me for some guy she never met? She just met this guy and she gonna dump me for him? Man, I really thought we had something going on. Now what will I do? I got three months. Three months to find me a bride. I mean, a king can't be a king without a bride. Come on, man. Just can't believe this happening to me now. Can't believe this. What 
did I do to deserve this? What's wrong with me? I look in the mirror every time I'm trying to figure something out, but I just don't know. I just don't know why she left. gets drunk and don't know how to act, he must have been drunk. Oh no, that's yeah. so sad. Last time he got drunk, he started shadow boxing. He, th he thought a deer was in front of him. Hmm. I said, I was, what? Like, I was watching, I was like, a man, for what? a man of his caliber. You know, I've been thinking, I mean, since the government is doing nothing about this road, yeah. we could actually fund for it and make sure that it's actually graded for the people of this community. Yeah. Don't you think that would be a good charity and would bring us a better name in this community? Honestly, you onto something. Absolutely. You onto something. We have to represent That's... our kingdom everywhere we go. Absolutely. But to put a kingdom, don't forget. Cheers. Speaking of the kingdom, mm -hmm. my coronation is in three months. Your coronation is in what? Just three months? Yeah. I still can't find a bride. Wait. But what happened to Mary? I thought she was in the UK preparing to wrap up with her masters and come back for your wedding. <sighs> Man, I don't even want to talk about Mia right now. You, you, guess what she did to me? What? So, she went to the UK. She told me she was going to be back in a month. She mm -hmm. went to the UK. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, she's married. Wait, what? I still, I still can't believe it. I, I, every day I think about it, it just messes with my head, man. Oh my God. I, 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 was, I couldn't think right for two weeks. I just couldn't. I didn't know what to do. Mary is married? She, yeah. Just oh, like cut me that crap. How can she be married? I, I thought she was betrothed to you from That's childhood. What I the whole time. She, she didn't even give me a wedding invite? She had me fooled the whole now time. Now that's a big slap on my face. What? Married? Yeah, just like that. Just like that. Wow. I, I still can't believe it. That's so not good. The whole time I thought she was the one. Nowadays, I can't. Oh, wow. I, it just it makes me think: Am I ever gonna find someone? I thought because of our good family ties, mm -hmm. everything was just going to work out well. So is her father still daddy's friend? Yep. <sighs> what a world. Now, you, now it just shows you who you can't trust nowadays. Yeah. The whole time. Absolutely. You know, you know, I, I really felt something between me and her. I really did. Like I just. I still can't believe it. Like, why would she do something like that to me? What What was wrong with me? Nothing is wrong with you, brother. I, I sometimes I Nothing. just look in the mirror and say, "Is there something wrong with me?" I just, I just can't no, believe no. it. How can someone do something like that to I mean, me? You're cute. You're hardworking. Purpose-driven. 
I mean, what else can well, a woman she, ask she for? She doesn't think that. She doesn't think that. I mean, it's fine. Clearly, something must be wrong. Mm, absolutely. I don't know how I'm going to find a bride. I you are a prince. Don't worry about that. But in three months, how are you going to get yourself a bride in three months? This is a tough one. This. Let me think, let me think. Look at the mask the professor gave me. This is not... Ah. I wasn't expecting this. Ah. What am I going to do now? Ah. <laughs> Julia! Julia, oh my god! <laughs> You won't believe this. What? <gasps> you see, your girl is twenty million dollars richer. Oh my God! <sighs> How did you know that happen? What? I think those are your prayers that you've actually been praying for me really work. Really? <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> <Just> imagine. <laughs> wow. There was this man. I have always been putting my eyes on him, Mr. George. I knew that something was not really going right in this company. <laughs> And then I had to hire more professional auditors to make sure that every figure is put in the right place. Yeah, you told me about and that. And then we discovered hmm? that he had been swindling money through our East Wing secretary. This is so sad. But today, <laughs> it was our miracle day because after Amen. proper investigation, wow. that money was released into our account. Wow. My dad is so proud of me. I have seen him right now. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm storming that office to make sure that every employee who was in charge of bringing the culprits to book has a salary raise and a promotion. Definitely, <laughs> that's so amazing. By the way, what are you doing? I'm doing great, I'm doing great. I'm just going through some school work. <laughs> oh, alright, I yeah, see, yeah. I see. Alright, you know what? Don't worry, Julia. I know you may be going through a lot with your studies. Yeah. I'm going to send you 50,000. Ah, oh my god, thank you so much. You're, You're such a darling. I know. Wow, thank you so much. You're I mean, <laughs> it's I'm fine. speechless. Don't worry, you can take a $50,000 to maybe like start a business, a brand, you know, computer oh. information system. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, I feel like there's a lot you can do, and yeah, I'm always here to support in any way. Thank you so can, much. Right? Thank, right, you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Let me rush and <laughs> give those employees a well done pat on the can back. Can I pray for you before you leave? Of course, sure, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> by your well, prayer answering God, He is, is a, a true king. He is a true God. Hmm. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, we thank you, Lord, because you were God. <laughs> yes, yes. You are an amazing mm. God. Mm. Yes, you can yes. never fail your children. Yes, oh Lord, yes. you have proven that you will mm. continue to prove to us. I pray as my sister goes out Amen. and come back in. Mm. Continuous mm. miracles, Amen. continuous blessings. Hallelujah. Lord, you will protect her. Mm. You will be her driver. Mm. Nothing evil will happen. Amen. May anyone that casts an evil eye be burned to hell. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I pray and thank you for mm. giving me such a beautiful and an amazing oh. sister. Because you will never fear your children. Mm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for twenty you million amazing. dollars. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. All right. So just okay. give me your account details right wow. here, and I'll be sending the money into your account. Okay. All right. Wow. Thank you so mm. much. <laughs> oh, you go. perfect. Thank you. Done. Wow. All right, you can check your phone. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have a great day. You are welcome, my Take darling. Take care of yourself. You too, all right? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Hi. Hi. Hmm. Hmm. What have I not seen in this life? Eh? God. What have I not seen in this life? <laughs> I have served you. I have prayed. I have converted souls, <laughs> hey. but I've never been blessed like this. God, hi, ah, this is bad. Wow, 20 million, <laughs> a good family. Ah, she has 
everything she's ever wanted. And me? Ha! Huh? Sad story. Hi! God! Hi! Hi! I do not want to say anything negative right now. Guess what I do? What? I check the stock market. Mm, what, what was on that? Like, I mean, we need to make more money. Our kingdom needs more money. We have to stand out amongst other kingdoms. You See, know, like you, I knew you were special. <laughs> I knew you were special. So I couldn't do something like that. That is just too much work for me. That's why you need a bride. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. But one day at a time. 
the right person will come. I yeah. totally believe that. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, that just reminds me. Yeah? I'll be going on a business trip down the south side in a couple of days. A business trip? No, I like the sound of that. <laughs> what yeah. for? Well, I'm a company, we got, I got to meet up with some other, you know, higher ups and we got to discuss business moves. Alright, so for how long will you be out? Two weeks. Right. Maybe. You know what, where's my phone? Let's call daddy and inform him about that, you know, and... Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You know how he gets. But you are going away? Uh -huh. What about the last conversation we had? Like, when are you going to find time to bond, you know, with, you know what I mean, Julia, make her like you, see? I feel like, I feel like you're trying to move this to a little too fast. So fast. Yeah. You have three months, in fact, less than three months to get yourself a bride. No, no. Uh, well, let's go with that. We'll see, we'll see what happens. All right. Well, yeah, you call that. Perfect. <sighs> Look at this guy. I heard he'll be running for president next year. All right. Hello, daddy. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Daddy, we miss you so much. Charles and I actually went out to have a good time together, daddy. Like, we've been working, working. What's up, dad? <laughs> oh, daddy, Charles. Hey, dad. How you been? Oh, I've been doing good, you know. I was just talking to um, your little sis about a little trip I'm going to down the south side in a couple of days. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and some um, other managers who were supposed to be talking about some business plan. Yeah. Oh, I think this right here is going to do something. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah, we're going to do, we going to make something happen this, this trip. I feel, I'm taking, um, you know, you um, remember Silas, right? My manager, yeah. Oh, um, you know, some prefer to call it advisor, but yeah, I'm taking him with me. Yeah. You can call him later. Give my phone. <laughs> Come down. I've been talking to him in a long time. <laughs> we're, just, we're just trying to catch up. You heard that? Daddy, please call your you son, that? okay? <laughs> she, she wants to take the phone. You know, we are yeah. trying to have a bonding right. time. But anyways, how you been? Good? Yeah, um, I'll come visit you in about, as soon as I get back from my trip, actually, I'll come see you. And we have uh, to start making everything ready for the coronation. I can't wait to come that event in the ground stop. <laughs> Guess what daddy said? What daddy Shut mean? your mouth. Hey, yeah, I, I told her, I told her for you. I'm his princess, you can't say that. Well, today I'm his prince. I know, forever. Yeah. Ain't that right, dad? <laughs> yeah, I'm your favorite now, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. Don't worry. Well, uh. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, we're about to head to bed. You know, I'm a little tired. I gotta be up early. Alright, I love you. I love you too, Daddy. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Alright. <laughs> Alright, Daddy, good night. We love you so much. Alright? <laughs> Alright, bye bye. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's go and get some rest. Julia, here you are. I've been looking for you. Just coming back from the meeting with one of my clients. I got you this welcome in. 
thank you. Oh, you're welcome, my darling. How are you today? Good. Uh, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Mm, so, how have you been? How are your studies going? Fine. Alright. Alright. Oh, mm. Any problem? I should be asking you, like, is there any problem? Is everything okay? Or have I offended you in any way? No. I'm fine. But Julia! I mean, like, you just look different, like... I don't know, maybe it's just me or my mind. Maybe I should talk to my therapist. I'm fine. Alright, um, so can I join you? Um, I think that's the Bible you're reading. Maybe you can tell me more about it. Um, can we do this some other time? All right, Julia, I think I should go to the kitchen and make something for us to eat. What would you like to eat tonight? I'm not hungry. When last did you eat? Today. At what time? I cannot remember, but today. Julia, that's the problem. Like, is everything okay? You can always... You could pick up your phone. No, it's fine. <laughs> like, Julia, that's the problem. You know, you're just this energetic, spiritual, amazing woman. Like, I feel maybe something is just not right somewhere. No, maybe I have a headache, that's why. Oh, you have a headache? Yeah. All right, honey, if you say so, I'll just go to the kitchen, make food for two. And anytime you're fine, you can come and eat, all right? Thank you. All right, babe, I love you. Yeah, you too. Mm. <sighs> I've so fat. Oh God, please! I I keep having these negative thoughts and feelings. I do not want to feel this way. I do not want my human nature to overcome my spiritual self. Oh God, please, Lord. Take over, take over my mind. I do not want to feel this way, oh Lord. I am a child of God. And the child of God is not supposed to act on. Hi. Ah, Jesus. Oh God. Please, Lord. Who is this now? Jehovah, I thank you, oh Lord, for you are God. Please take over my mind, take over my soul. Lord, I do not want my human nature to overcome my spiritual being, oh Lord. Please pick up your phone. Pick up your phone, ma'am. Yeah. Pick up your phone. Ah. Calling you. Are you serious? Yes. Ah. I've missed you so much. I missed you too. It's been I'll a be while. Back. Yes, I know. I'll be coming back tomorrow. Ah. You've been telling me you'll come back, you'll come back. When exactly are you coming back? Serious, I'll be back tomorrow morning. You know, so tell me what has been happening. Things have been going really tough. As in, lately, the girl that I received in the house has been putting up an attitude, and this is destabilizing me mentally even more because she looks exactly like Sylvia, you know, and it just keeps bringing the car crash incident to my mind, and I'm so hurt. Like, I feel like I'm losing my mind, but I'm trying to put myself together. Have you talked to her about this? How can I even try to do that? You know, I just feel like because I brought her into my home, it's my responsibility to take care of her. So I'm just trying to put up with everything, but it's killing me slowly. I don't know what oh, to do. I'm so sorry about that, but you have to do the best way to deal with this is to communicate with her and talk about it and see how you can take this. Obstacle out of his, out of your sight. 
because you do not need this right now. All you need right now is to be happy. Focus on your healing. Yeah. That's what you need right now. Yeah. But I think I'm running out of uh, those medications you gave me to take whenever I feel really, really nervous because of the post-traumatic disorder. Really? Mm -hmm. Then when, I, when I'm coming back to you, I'll definitely get more of it, okay? Oh, you will? Yes. All right, thank you so much. I think that would be You're really welcome. helpful. You're oh. very much welcome. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much. I look forward to yes. seeing you as soon as you arrive. Take care of yourself, okay? All right, all right, thank you. Bye bye. Bye. <sighs> 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 hmm. Michael, what on earth did I ever do to her? What exactly is going on? What exactly is going on? I have a lot of work to do. This is no TV time. This is no TV time. Where exactly did I die? Where's that keep those files? <sighs> Alright. Where is my laptop? I wish I could have what you have. 
But unfortunately, look at me. You have all the nice dresses. You flaunt them in front of me and you keep calling my name Julia. Julia, drink. Is that a, is that that's not my problem? That's not part of my problem. Can you just let me be? Please! I'm tired. What is this? Hi! Oh my god. <sighs> this is just so annoying. Why have I offended? Eh God? Hi! Please! Excuse me! Can I breathe? Can you just let me be? I do not want Julia. to be here! Julia what? what Julia what? Everything has come over me! Everything! Every single thing! Can I just breathe? Please! Let me tell you, you have a good potential husband. You always smile, flaunt him everywhere in front of my face. You have riches, you have the 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 royalty you have a good potential husband Charles <laughs> you have money your parents are rich you have all the good things in life some of us just leave all the crumbs of rich Julia Julia what calm down please if your Bible said what shall he promise a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul Julia do you know what I go through do you know I attend therapy sessions every now and then I was involved in a terrible car crash that I lost my best friend who coincidentally looks exactly like you. Receiving you into my house has not made things easier for me. I've been going through a lot of trauma and my therapist has been helping me to no avail. Julia, you talk about a potential husband. Are you talking about Williams? Williams is my brother. He's my brother. Yes, Charles William. Actually, he's the same person. Charles William, the same thing, my brother, what? who is about to be crowned but to be king of our kingdom. But you said he's... Absolutely. I said that he was William because when he was born, my mom wanted him to be called William. My father wanted him to be called Charles because we were so obsessed with the British monarchy. And so they decided to combine the name Charles Williams. So when I talk about Charles, I talk about Williams. I'm talking about the same person. And to think that my brother, who is about to be king of our kingdom, was thinking of making you his bride. What? Yes! Because I told him so. I told him you were a great girl, you're amazing, beautiful, inside out, God fearing, and you've been nothing but good to me. Let me think, let me think. <sighs> I have an idea. Yes. Let me hear it. Go ahead, go on. What about Julia? You talking about um your the one girl you introduced me to? My new best friend. I mean, come to think of it, she's so God-fearing. Ever since I met her, she talks about the Word of God, reads the Bible to me, pray every time for me. She cooks so good, oh. she, and she's so humble. Yeah, she could make a good bride. Mm, so, you, you, you really think so? I know so. But I, how, I how does she it. feel about me, though? But you, you're just saying that. How, how, how does she feel about me? How am I supposed to know except you take your eyes to observe her for yourself? I vetted her as a lady. She's good. You're a man, you know. Just do those things that will melt a woman's heart so that she can meet forth. You're a prince. Any woman can fall for you, you know, so. That, I thought the same thing, but clearly, no. Maybe if for she's, sure. Yeah, clearly, no. If she's getting married to some random person in the UK that she just met, there gotta be something wrong with me. But anyways, nah, nah, I, I just I don't want to talk about her anymore. So about this Julia girl, um, when am I gonna see her next? I'm sure she's in her room studying for her upcoming semester exams. You know what? Let's give Julia a thought for the queen of our throne. Yeah. Let's make it happen. All right. Let's make it happen. You, you prepare amazing dishes, you, you always counseled me and drawn me closer to God. So why would you sit and think that you're eating off the crumbs of rich people? Did you tell me the first day you entered into this house that this your God is the king of the heavens and the earth and that we are all his kids? You are the real king's kid here. You shouldn't be envying me in any way. Where did you lose it, Julia? Every time you are with his word, why can't you let his word transform you and make you see the real reality of who you are? You are the real king's kid. I should be envying you so that I can join in that train of the heavenly king's kids. <sighs> Wait 
after believing in her God, after seeing all the wonderful things he's been doing for me, why? Why would she just change like that? Oh, what did I do? Oh. Oh, was I not kind enough? Was I not good enough to her? Opening my arms to receive her into my home? Oh. What do I do? What do I do? Do I tell my father? Should I expose this to my brother? Maybe. About yesterday, I'm so sorry. I do, I don't know what went for me. I'm so sorry. It was the devil's work. I'm, I'm just going through a lot right now. My parents are sick. I don't even know how to fund for my education. And I see you having everything you've, everything you everything I ever prayed for and I was so confused I don't know what I'm so sorry it's okay stand up it's okay Julia it's okay stand up I'm it's so fine. sorry it's okay <laughs> nobody has it all nobody has everything I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry oh my god this it's fine. Perhaps I've been rubbing off a lot on your face without even knowing. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's my fault. My pain. I preach the gospel but I cannot practice it. I'm so sorry, Debbie. You've it's done right. so much for me. I'm so sorry. You're such an amazing girl. <laughs> You're already a sister to me and I love you so much. That's why I wasn't understanding what was happening. You're a good person. I understand what it means to be in your shoes as well. You know? Thank it's you fine. so much. Thank you. I love you so much, Julia. Thank you so much. You're an amazing woman, you know. I love you. I mean, you shouldn't have kept your parents' situation to yourself. We are now sisters, all right? So if the 50000 I sent into your account was not enough, you should have spoken about it, you know? Or if you just needed emotional support. I'm so sorry in every way that I may have caused this, all right? It's fine. I'm I sorry. love you. I love you too. It's okay. <laughs> I brought something. Can we? Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> mm. Enough of the ugly crap. Come on, let's watch a film together. Come on. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh my. Mm. Oh wow. <laughs> He's so funny. Mm, wow. I know. Hmm. Oh my god, what's that? I come before you, bowed knees, oh Lord, please forgive me for my sins I have committed. I have sinned against you and I have sinned against my sister Debbie, oh God, please forgive me. You said when we come, we bow the knees and come before you asking for forgiveness, you will forgive us, oh God. I let myself fall into the temptations of this world, oh God, I am so sorry, please forgive me. Look at everything I have. I gave blinded eyes to the things you have given me, oh God. I was so focused on things that were not supposed to be mine. <laughs> Truly, I am a king's king, oh God. 
But I give a black eye to all those things. I keep focusing on the wrong things. Lord, look at the orphans, the needy, the widows, the need of everything I have right now. But I'm so ungrateful. God, please forgive me. Jesus Christ, please take me back into your heavenly kingdom. Jesus, please take me back into your heavenly kingdom. I'm so sorry, God. I come with a pure heart, oh God, wash me clean, oh God, please forgive me, I'm sorry. I've sinned against you, oh my Father. Jesus Christ, I come before you with a sinful heart, because I have sinned against you. Forgive me, Lord. Take me, Lord. I am your child. Never forsake me, oh God, please. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. Oh, Jesus, our Father. I say thank you, Jesus, because you have done it and you have always done it for me. Thank you, Jesus, for everything you have shown me. Thank you, God. God. Jesus. Oh, God, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Upstairs. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. It's okay. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. All right. Thank you. Such a faithful servant of God. A genuine child of God. This is amazing. After everything. She's still praying to God. He's still so humble. Hmm. Even when she realizes that she has fallen short, she comes back and cries for mercy. This is the kind of life that I want to live. I want to know this God. I want to be his child. Because indeed, Julia is a true child of God. Lord. You are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You are the one and the only true God. You are royalty. You have called your children, those whom you vested sonship on, to a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Lord, if it's okay with you, please, I'm accepting you in my heart. As my Lord, and my savior come take ownership of my life and lead me the way you want me to go have mercy on me lord i repent of the lust of the eyes the lust of the flesh and the bride of life have mercy on me oh god <laughs> Have mercy on me, Jesus. And help me to walk in your abundant life through all eternity. Give me the grace, Lord, to be who you've called me to be. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, Lord. For accepting me into your kingdom. King of kings and lord of lords. It is for you that I live. In you I live. In you I move. And in you I have my being. Thank you for accepting me as your kid. The real king's kid. The heavenly king's kid. Thank you. Help me to never lose my identity in Christ. That identity of righteousness and of holiness. Through all eternity, purge my heart, purge my thoughts, purge my words, purge my being, my appearance and everything about me till I come into the fullness of the stature of Christ. This I ask 
and many more. In Jesus' name. Because I am the king's kid. Oh, what is going on here? Hello? Yes, Martina. All right, I'm just realizing that the stock market had to be juicy tonight. So I was hoping that we could invest more. Yes, from the south side of the company. Oh, yes, please hold an emergency meeting tomorrow with Mr. Patrick so that we can discuss all the details, all right? All right, perfect. It's like I heard someone on my door. Give me one moment. Oh, yes. I'm coming. Oh. Hey, brother. <laughs> I'm doing just fine. It's been Thank a long you. Time. I know. How did the business deal go? Man, so much going on around my company right now. Uh -oh. Too much stress. You don't mean it. Yeah, I'm on it. But I'm kind of satisfied with what we've been doing lately, though. All right. We, I feel like we're good. Oh wow, that's we awesome. Expanded and like mm -hmm. the staff is doing a great job. Yeah. Everyone's just doing a wonderful job. Oh wow. And guess what? That's you really know, awesome. You know what, what I've been thinking about? Uh -uh. I might just give him a raise. Oh wow. Oh, 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 <laughs> that's so cute. That's my brother. Like, I mean. All grown, yeah. I know. I'm so proud of you and I'm so, sure that is. How, how's everything going, man? <sighs> it's been amazing here. Um, yeah, it's been great so far in the house. There's something I've mean, been meaning to get out of my chest, but I just don't know how to say it. Alrighty! I'm ready! <laughs> Bust my bubbles. I hope it's not what I'm it. thinking. I'm gonna have to do it. Alright, what's that? I'm gonna have to propose. You wanna propose to yeah. her? Oh my god, that's so yes, cute! You got yes. yourself a bride! The queen! That's the only thing missing. Of Putsu Putsu Kingdom. Yes, I have planning this in less than two it. months. My company. Uh huh. My wife. Uh-huh. And your throne! <laughs> that was not what I was thinking, but wow, you read my mind. I know! <laughs> you know what? This calls for a celebration. We, we must not tell her. Don't tell yet. We gotta... Right. It gotta be a surprise. Mm -hmm. I want everyone here to see it, too. Alright. Alright. I got you, bro. I got I like, you. I like, I like that energy. I, I like that energy. We'll get her dressed up tomorrow, uh -huh. like we're going for some party to eat somewhere or something. Then you can like right here, like just you know. I'll I'm come coming, here. I'm coming, oh. I'm coming in here like this. Yeah. <laughs> like oh my that. god, like that. that's yeah. so cute. I'm yeah. really loving this. I'm ready. Alrighty, brother. Good job. So you just come. Let's get something on the dining, room. eat, rest, and then you go to bed, right? Yeah. Alright. Mm -hmm. I'm so Thank proud you. of you. You're, you're again. now a man. Uh -huh. Can you believe it? Debbie, where are you taking me Don't to? bother yourself, Julia. You'll find out, alright? Are you sure? Are you? Let's just say I'm taking you for a very good dinner. Oh like, my god. Dinner tonight is gonna be amazing. So, blow the way. Come here. Mwah. Mwah. You're a sister to me, okay? No. Yeah. Thank you so much. By the way, you look so, so gorgeous. You look lovely. I you know. How about you? Try this on. Let's see how it's gonna look like. Oh. This is my sister. We are doing this journey forever from tonight. I can do this. I can do this. Hmm. It's a forever journey. Trust me. You'll be blown away. Come I'm here. scared. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Right after you. <laughs> All righty. <laughs>
welcome to the family. <laughs> oh, welcome to the family, Julia. I, think she's the one. I know. Oh my God, my friends are the queen and the king of Puerto Puerto Kingdom. I'm so happy. We are ready for the coronation. Did you know about this? <laughs> <laughs> you guys oh, are get out of here. <laughs> Oh All right, let's go somewhere to celebrate this. Definitely. Oh my god. It's on me. Drinks are on me. I know. I love it on you. Oh. oh wow. A oh. perfect crown. Thank you. The woman of God, our queen. Oh my. 